welcome. So, someone asked if I would do um, a tutorial on a couple of hats. I'm thinking this is the one that she was talking about. Um, if not, let me know down below. But I think this was the one she was talking about. That and the other one. And I think that's the one with the pom-pom or the shells. I'm not really sure. But we're going to do this one today. Okay. So this was done with the Mandala Sparkle. And I used a 4 millimeter hook. But today I'm going to use the Ferris wheel. And let's see what's the color. Yeah, it decided to throw up on me. Yeah, don't you love when it does that? This is Morning Java. And I just love how this feels. So this is 3 ounces, 85 grams, 270 yards, 247 meters. It is machine and washable and dryable. Um, says it's a weight 4. No, it's not. It's more like a DK3, but it does ask for a 5 millimeter. I am going to use a 4 millimeter though. Alright, so let's get with it. So you guys can use, you know, like whatever yarn you want. But I'm going to use the Ferris wheel. Okay, now I'm going to try to show you how I do the magic ring. If you don't know how to do the magic ring, do the chain. I don't really know how to do the chain method. So I do the magic ring. So I just take and I wrap around my both fingers. And then I cross it like that. And I bring it down. And I hold. And I take my hook and I come from underneath... Okay, so I come underneath this one, and then I grab that back one, okay? And then I pull, and I twist, okay? Then I take, and I hold on to it, all right? Oops, held on to the wrong one. All right, let me do that again. I'm l let me, okay, I'm going to focus on the other, not in the camera, because that's confusing, so... Take and wrap your yarn and cross it over, okay? And then you're going to bring your hook through and pull it and then, and my gosh, and twist, okay? And then you hold. Now you're going to chain two, okay? And just kind of pull tight, all right? Now when you chain, chain one more, that's not going to count as a stitch at all, okay? So yarn over, and we're going to do 12 double crochets. So there's one, two, three, Four, five, oops, not half, we want a full, there's six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, I'm getting all caught up here. Eleven and twelve. Okay. So, with the magic ring, all you have to do is grab your loose strand, 
and you just pull tight just like that and it closes up that hole okay just like that all right so you're going to go to the top of your first double crochet so remember you don't count that chain and you're going to slip stitch just like that okay this is the only now this is for a preemie hat okay if you're gonna do a bigger hat obviously you'll do more um increases but this will be the only increase for a preemie hat so we're going to chain two and that does not count as anything you're going to yarn over and you can go back into that same spot and you're going to do a double crochet you can yarn over and in that same stitch okay so that same stitch right there you're going to do a front post double okay so I'll show you that one more time so yarn over and then you're going to insert your hook okay right right there okay so insert your hook and then you're going to bring it from behind and out to the front yarn over pull it through you want to pull it up just a little bit so that it comes equal with the other double crochet you can yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two go into the next one which is right there it can kind of be hidden so you kind of maybe want to move the stitch over and you're going to do a double crochet on the top <clears throat> and then you're going to do a front post in the exact same stitch a double crochet front post excuse me all right <clears throat> excuse me so i'll show you one more time and then i'll let you guys go and i'll meet you at the end so yarn over go into your very next stitch and at the top do a double crochet okay let's see if I can't make this better and then yarn over and in that exact same stitch you're going to insert your hook and then from behind you're gonna pull it up to the front you're gonna yarn over pull through and pull up just a little bit so that the height gets equal yarn over pull through two and pull through two okay one more time double crochet into your next one on the top and then you're going to do a front double post so insert your hook bring it from behind and up to the front yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and pull through two okay so you're going to end up with a total of 24 of these okay so i will meet you when we get right here all right so we'll see you in just a minute okay so you should have a total of 24 so you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet okay chain two now remember that doesn't count as anything you're going to yarn over and in the same spot you're going to do a double crochet in the post you're going to do a double crochet And then you're going to do a front post double crochet around the post. Okay, so in all of the regular double crochets, okay, you're going to do one double crochet. And in the posts, you're going to do a double crochet and then a double post crochet, front post crochet, all right? So double crochet 
do another double crochet on the top of the post and then a front double crochet all right so one more time do a double crochet another double crochet on the top of the post and then a double crochet front post okay so do that all the way around and then I'll meet you when we get here okay so I'll meet you when we get here okay so one last stitch left do your double and then your front post double all right now I'm making a preemie hat so this is the last increase um, that I'll be doing okay so slip stitch to the top if you want to make this hat bigger for you know like a child or an adult continue doing a couple more rounds of increases you'll do it the exact same way the only difference is is you'll put well there is no difference you'll put a double crochet in each of the regular double crochets and then you'll do the increase on your posts. So, yeah, I'll sh just like the last two rounds. So here you'll do, in this double crochet, you'll do a regular double crochet, and this double crochet, a regular double crochet, and then here you'll do your double crochet plus your post, okay? And do that for however many um, rounds you want to make it bigger. But like I said, I'm making a preemie hat. <clears throat> excuse me, a preemie hat. So that's the only rounds I'm going to do. You should have a total of 36. So chain 2. Remember, that doesn't count as anything. And you're going to do a double crochet. The next double, you're going to do a double crochet. On every post, okay, you're going to do a front post double. Just like that. Okay, so next two will be regular double crochets. And then your post, you'll do a front post double crochet. All right, so one more time. Two double crochets. Okay. And then a front post double crochet. All right. So I will continue all the way around and I'll meet you here. Don't forget to slip stitch in the top of that double crochet. All right. Okay, so once you finish that, you're going to do repeat that same row eight more times. So I'll get you started, and then that's it. And then I'll just show you um, what I did on this one because I have got a lot of things that I've got to do and not enough hours in the day to do it um i just made some bread i'm trying to get videos caught up and oh my gosh so all right enough of the ranting and the want want poor me all right hello <laughs> Micaiah says hello Okay, so again, you're just going to repeat. You're going to do double crochet in each of the double crochets. And I'm getting knotted up here. And then you're going to do a front post on every front post, okay? So do that eight more times, okay? So you'll have a total of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You'll have a total of 12 rows. 
And then here, all I did was a double, or excuse me, single crochet, two rows of single crochets, and that was it. That simple. So easy, easy peasy. So just continue that until you get a total of 12 rows, if you count from the beginning, all right? And then add two rows of, or no, is that single? Yeah, that's single. Oh, gosh, Allison, I don't know. You can do half doubles. If you don't want to do singles, you can do half doubles. That would look really pretty down there too. But, and then that's it. Just make sure that it is about five inches this way, okay? As far as the circumference, you want it to be about around about 10 to 12. You don't want to go any bigger than 12. So um, this is about 10 around, and then this is five inches this way. So that is how you make the postal, I'm going to call it a postal beanie um, for the preemies. But again, you can, if you just keep adding um, the, um, yeah, my mind's blank, the increases, you can make it for a child or, um, or even a baby, uh, you know, a normal baby or an adult, you know, you just got to you know, do more increases. I only did the two increases because that's all I needed. But there you go. So easy peasy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. I love you all and lots of hugs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you'll always be notified when I put my videos up. Feel free to leave me a comment nice one preferably and i will see y'all next time oh and please share my videos that would be helpful and if you don't want to watch the whole entire video please go and just mute the video and go watch something else but let it play that would help me out so much anyhow i love y'all big hugs and i will see you later bye bye okay so I'm going to try and edit my last video because I was like, I would, wasn't going to show you how to do the last, but I thought, you know what, I'll show you how I do the last of it and then up to you guys. So I've got the 12 rows starting from here all the way down, okay? So I'm going to do, I hope you can see it now that it's dark, my last stitch. And yours as well should be a front post, okay? So I'll do my last stitch. And then I'm going to, I hope you can see that, go into the top of the first double crochet. And I'm going to slip stitch. Alright, so here's a little trick that I do for when I single crochet. I do not chain one, okay? I mean, you can if you want, you know, if you're comfortable doing it that way. But I go back in, pull the yarn through. All right, so you got your two chains on your hook, and I pull through. So there's one single crochet. And I'm going to go around this whole thing. Okay, so no more front post doubles. You're just going to go around in each stitch okay and you're going to do a single crochet oops I don't want to do a double I want to do a single yes I know my nails have changed um since the first of the video but that's because I got busy doing other things and forgot 
What did we get? I thought I was going to be done with it, but then I decided to add this la last little bit to show you what I do. Um, I mean, you don't have to even do this. You can leave the beanie just like that. I mean, that still looks really pretty. So, I mean, you don't have to even do um, this very ending. So, I'm going to finish this around and I'm going to do two rounds so I'm going to do two rounds okay so do as many as you want so that it reaches like I said about five between four and a half to five maybe even five and a half inches um because they can always roll it up if they need you know if they need to until they get a little bigger but all right so I will be back when I get this finished Okay, so there it is. I still need to tie in the end, but, you know, you can bring it up like that. I love how, and I'll remind you what I used. I used a Ferris wheel in the color Morning Java. But there you go. That's how you do the postal beanie. I think it is so cute. And like I said, if you want to make it bigger, all you have to do is just add um, more increases rather than just the two that I did. So, anyhow, I hope you guys like it. And I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit the notification bell because I am putting videos out all the time. And, uh, yeah, leave me a comment and let me know what you think and if you make it. I would love to see it. Um, I've got links down below so um, you can click on them. Um, there's also uh, how you can get a hold of me down in the description as well. So, anyhow, I will see you all later. I love you all. Big hugs and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.